Israel Nathan. Taking off my glasses. Taking off your glasses. I'm so taking off Ira. my glasses so I look more... Fit, you're going to fit to our uh, youngsters here. Yes. Um, Israel Nathan. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. is it sitting to your right? Ira. Ira Michelson, the man and the legend. Yes, he's a good friend of us, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, you picked him up today from the airport? Yes. And um, what you felt when you saw him, when he came? Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, I know. You were very happy. You don't know. <laughs> you were very happy. Do you remember when we used to ride around? What? On my, on my race car? <laughs> we've been together too. Where have we been in, in Orlando? Nathan? In Orlando, you remember? Last you remember? One year and a half ago. You remember? What's going on, on the with race your... car? What's going on? With your legs, with your mm -mm. memory. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Ira came with us to for one of our long and, and most uh, tiring <laughs> tours <laughs> in the ten US. City, the Ten City <laughs> Adventure. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Ira, um, I'm sure that many, many of our viewers, they know you and they're familiar with your classes and your teachings around the world. And especially that now we're working together for the last few years. And um, do you want to share a little bit from uh, your experience, how you joined to the Amuna project and, and how we, we make so many great things together? So it, it's like, it's it's one of those things that we say uh, the, the whole idea of you know how Hashem really orchestrates everything um, I was in Texas staying in somebody's house in Texas a lot of people might know Rod Bryant who was my partner in the radio in Texas and I was in his house and speaking at the Tiv and he was taking a nap this one day he woke up and I went downstairs and I said to him, I just got a call from somebody and they asked me if I knew somebody named Rav Dror Moshe Kasuto. I said, you know who this guy is? And he said, what do you mean? I've been following Rav Dror for years. He said, I, I watch all of his videos. So I said, well, I just got invited to come to Yerushalayim from Sfat to meet with him and his team to see about uh, coming. And uh, the rest is history, really. I came down and we met for, I think we met for a short time, but I think when you walked in the room and our eyes met, that we knew that we had met before. Yeah, that's that, uh, In a different life that we were connected. Today you told me that a friend of yours um, suggested you to write a book on uh, on your journey. So, yeah. uh, uh, so I think we're gonna do. A, we're gonna have to start with yours. <laughs> I think that it's important uh, to to see that every one of us is uh, is uh, carrying his story, and like you made such a transformation from uh, from like different and such radical different uh, background and, and came to orthodox or strong uh, Judaism faith in the creator with uh, under this uh, under this um, you know the definition of of today Judaism but from such a different background and it's amazing how every person today is is so deep and, and carries so many wonders and treasures, diamonds of, of life experience with him and we all must share. There's, there's not a person out there today that doesn't have an experience, that doesn't have a story, that doesn't have some type of chokhmah, some type of wisdom that they can't share with the rest of the world. Everyone, everyone in the world, everyone that's watching, everyone that follows Rev Jor, everyone that follows the Amuna Project, you have a story, you have your own diamonds, you have your own tshuva, your own story of return, your own story of connection to the Creator, to Hashem, and uh, you need to find that inner point of truth that Rev Jor always speaks about. A few months ago, we, we opened the Amuna Nations in, on, on the Facebook, that page. 
and, and uh, it's amazing because over there people are sharing their stories people can just record videos and and send them to us to the info at amuna.com and uh, and we're just sharing those private stories of, of of people on our pages social media made things so easy technology today is 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 amazing it's one of the things that i think the there's no time in history that we know of that Torah, that the, 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 the word of the Creator has been so available in the world. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Nathan? You're making our life so interesting. <laughs> How so many beans did you have? What? How many beans did you have? Uh, nothing. Jelly nothing. beans, what are you talking about? You, you ate? Eat all. You ate all five. Kameze. Shalosh. Shalosh? <laughs> yeah. You had three beans. I, I bless you and you know that my blessing is walking with you and um, your love is, um, is building and surrounding me as well. That uh, in your journeys that uh, we are walking together with one heart, you will have find um, the access into the hearts of thousands of people to illuminate their heart and to attach them to our divine and good and great creator like you always did and uh, Bezat Hashem with help from Bezat heaven Hashem. continue 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 to keep on raising those souls from the depths today we spoke about it Ira and I that um, I'll switch the camera to my for a second, that um, Hashem blessed Avraham in uh, that his uh, seed, that his children will be like the sand of the sea. So we said that the sand, it's got that nature of falling between the fingers of, of the person when you try to, to lift it. So the sand got that power of, of always, always slivering between the fingers. So those real righteous ones are always, always working hard, hard, hard <laughs> on uh, on bringing those souls that have been compared to sand <laughs> up to the surface, up to holiness, up to the holy zone of, of purity. But the souls of, of the truth seekers have that nature of sand. They're always falling and keep on falling. But if you see yourself that you're falling, it's... Uh, it means only one good thing that you are part of that blessing of Abram that had been compared to to the sea, to the sand of the sea. And also it's written in the Zohar Kadosh, in the holy book that had been written by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, that um, purity, holiness, um, no, I'm sorry, that in, that contamination is catching only in places of purity. Like if there is something that never been pure, it's not impure as well. It's not contaminated. Something contaminated is only something that has a holy root, a holy past. So if you find yourself that you're impure, that you fell from all floors, from all levels, it's only because that your roots are really very high and, and divine. Little Nachman, I'm putting that um those sunglasses and dark hat on your head and you will bless all of our people now that what they will have ah what they will have all of our followers um, what do you bless them to have i don't know you must know something that you want them all to have, yes. something that you wish for yourself. What is a good thing that you wish they will have too? True? Happiness? Yes! <laughs> True happiness. True happiness. True happiness, complete <laughs> happiness. Ira, to you and to your beloved wife, Leah, we send our regards and our blessings to all of your family and to all of your beloved ones and to all of our friends around the world. Enjoy our social media 
um, outlets and spread it and share it between your friends and your people and from heaven they will assist us all to complete our tshuva and to come back to our Creator with a happy heart and a wishing soul. Amen. 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 Can you hear that song? Subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.